what I think is actually more important to focus on is on the next section here, which is memory bandwidth, memory bus width, your RAM speeds, and your memory options. Okay, why is that? It's because everything you do in your computer pretty much runs off of RAM or memory in this instance. Everything runs in there. When you load up an app and anything you're working with in the app, it's all running through RAM and communicating to all the different components on your computer. I'm simplifying this here, but that's basically what it sort of sort of kind of works with here. And it's really important to have is to as much bandwidth and fast transfer speeds to be able to communicate with all different components because using a unified memory architecture, your CPU, your GPU, and other components share that same memory bandwidth and that same memory all within one section. Again, simplifying this down here a little bit, it's supposed to be more efficient in, in this case is with that. Now, when you take a look here at the M1 Pro and M2 Pro, you can see that they have a memory bandwidth of 200 gigabits per second. That's how much data it can sort of handle at a time and the memory bus with a 256 bit. That's why it can have 200 gigabits of speed. And you can see the estimated RAM speeds of 6400 megabit transfer a second. Basically, how fast it can send data up and down memory and all your other different components. And that's how fast it can send that bandwidth of 200 gigabits per second. That's how fast it can kind of move everything around. Again, simplifying things here. But if you look at the M3 Pro here, you can see that it's actually 25% less than 150 gigabits per second in terms of bandwidth with, because it has a 192 bit bus, but the same sort of mega transfer speeds but that's kind of a thing here we want to pay attention to because it really depends on the type of apps you're using that might need a large bandwidth to be able to run really really fast or run effectively because it doesn't matter how fast your clock speeds are on your system it doesn't matter how fast the uh, the ram speeds are you are still limited by your bandwidth and that's something that's hard coded in you can't just snap something and just kind of open up more bandwidth there and apps have to optimize for it as well too so if you use something like i use video editing using large files you probably want as much bandwidth as possible to make sure that you can interact with those files within your application and other different parts of your computer nice and fast and not have too many delays with it. It doesn't matter how much RAM you have. You can have up to 96 gigabytes of RAM. That just basically means that's how many apps you could run within RAM, how much stuff you can put in there. But in terms of how much you can transfer over it and how fast you can do it, it really depends on the memory bandwidth.